So you have the far left progressive movement in the United States, anti-Israel. Now, I'm not going to say they're anti-Semitic personally, but they're anti-Israel. And they always have been. It's a hallmark of this progressive movement. Many American Jews are very liberal, extremely so. Jeffrey Katzenberg is the spear point behind Biden's reelection. How do you process that? Do, does that offend you that the progressive movement is so anti-Israel? I, I think that it's very important to note there are kind of generational uh, aspects to this. But right now on college campuses all across this country, your analysis is spot on. Uh, there is a, an anti-Israel movement that is very troubling. Uh, it's somewhat understandable, I believe, given the history of the uh, of the last uh, 10, 20 years. Uh, it is very troubling. Sometimes anti-Semitism and anti-Israel or anti-Zionism get mush, mushed up, get mixed up. Uh, people are uh, sometimes uh, expressing hatred of Netanyahu's government in Israel, and they're not anti-Semitic. Other times, uh, uh, anti-Semitism is the motivating. There is uh, anti-Semitism is one of the primal uh, uh, characteristics, it seems to me, uh, of, of Western man. Uh, it is very troubling to me. I, I think that incidents like what had just happened, uh, you saw in London, I'm sure, uh, the protests, the anti-Israeli protests in London and many other places. You also saw support for Israel. So uh, what I come down is I say, you can be anti-Zionist, you can be anti-Netanyahu, but don't be anti-Semitic. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode, anytime on BillOReilly.com. Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.